morning. Hi, Emma. Good morning, Ms. Ackerman. How are you, beautiful girl? How are you? Good. How are you guys? Can you go three? What, love? Speak English. No. Yes. How was your weekend, Miss Ackerman? It was very eventful. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> How was everybody else's? How was your weekend, Emma? It was good. What did you do? You spent the night at Grandma's house. Oh, that's fun. Okay, hold on. <laughs> Hi, Riley. Cheese. Cottage. She said cottage black. Daddy had cottage cheese. Black. Black. He wants black. every kind of cheese that there is. We are good friends, you and I, Eli. At all times of the day. <laughs> I love. I'll meet you at the cellar in San Clemente and we'll get a cheese platter. Mmm. Love that. Mm. What, wait, what? Cheese platter. There, there's a place called The Cellar, mm. and there's, believe it or not, there is somebody who went to college to be a fromagier, a cheese monger, and they know <laughs> everything about cheese and all these different kinds of cheeses, and you just sit in front of a big plate of cheese and you eat it for hours. So good. What the? What <laughs> is right? <laughs> <laughs> is that crazy? Hi, Jude. Hey, Bree. Hi, Hi, Hi Gracie. Hi, Lily. Hi. Hi, Hi Mrs. Ackerman. Hi, Mrs. Ackerman. Good morning. I can't wait. So, Lyndon, this is so cool. I'll wait till he gets in. Hopefully, he's coming. But Mrs. Ackerman saved a pig this weekend, and Absolutely. Um, that helped me. Oh, we need to buy some more. Okay, you guys are gonna need a, a clear glass of water. I need a clear glass of water. Not yet, not yet. But you're gonna need water and three or four ice cubes in a clear glass. Not yet. Not yet. Not yet. Not yet, because we gotta wait till everybody in so that we can do it together. Can you pour ice cream? Ice cream. We only have nine people. What's the deal? You mean Tom? Miss Akrima, what do we need to get? Mm. Mm -hmm. Let's make you We're gonna do an experiment. All you're gonna need is a clear glass okay. with water and like four ice cubes, but not yet. We'll wait till everybody's in the because we only have okay. nine. Oh, we're gonna need this today. I have to pick it out every yeah, I have it. We're gonna need this today. I can't. And you're gonna need the June cone. Okay. Oh, do we have that cone? Yeah. We're gonna need the June cone. Print out the other thing now. Our video left. Oh, hi, Finn. I don't see your face. <laughs> That's what I meant when I say my I muted again. That means our Wait a video. Minute. Oh, Isaac is here. Oh, the June. The June one, yeah, and the cool look. Bree, I love your voice. <laughs> you talk like this. <laughs> well, hi, Lake. Hi, little friend. Hi, hi little you? friend. Hi. What you Isaiah? What's your brother's name, Jude? Isaiah. Isaiah. Good morning. Good morning, Angel. Hi. Hi, Addison. Hi, Lyndon. We were just talking about you, Lyndon. Where are you? Mm. 
There you go. Yeah, I have all of these. Okay, why don't we do the flags to help that. people to join us? Ready? Or right that. hand over your heart. For that. Ready to again. I yeah. pledge allegiance to the flag okay. of the United mm -hmm. States of America mm -hmm. and to the Republic for which is one nation under God, indivisible, mm -hmm. liberty, and justice for all. Okay. All right. So I wanted to just go over, Mrs. Ackerman just ran right into parts of the clock, but I kind of forgot to go into exactly what every part is. Okay, so when you guys look at watches or your phones, whatever, time is usually just, if you can see, the hour, the little dot separating the hour and the minutes, right? The two dots are called a colon, okay? And they just separate two things. So the hour goes first, and then the minutes go next, okay? So who can tell me what time it is? Look at, so say the hour first. What's the first? Uh, nine hours. It's nine, and then say the minutes. 37. Yeah, it's 937. That's what time it is. So when you look at a clock, which you probably won't look at a clock a whole lot because we don't have a lot of them anymore, but that's what we're learning about is if you don't have your lucky ducky phone, you're going to have to read a clock. Okay, uh-oh. Is Isaac in? Isaac and Elise are in? Oh, oh yeah, okay. Yeah, we're, I miss, I wrote mm. in the wrong number here. I wonder what time is. So I finally got hip to it. I, I just, it's just reoccurring. So it's, it should never change till the end of our time together. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay, what we're gonna do is, um, I think we need to do, we're gonna do the June poem. And then we're going to label the water cycle. Okay. And I think while we're doing our math is when we'll do our experiment because we only need to wait a few minutes. So I don't want to interrupt what we're doing. Okay. So we're going to do a little bit of writing, not a lot. You're going to have to write a little smaller than you usually do, but you can do it. I'm not worried about it. Okay. Does everybody understand that? Hello. So, Lyndon, where are you? I don't see you. You were in and now you're out. Are you here? Your pencil. Anyway, Lyndon's, Lyndon's um, auntie own Zuri Pet Spa. And so she helped me rescue a pig this weekend. And it just happened to be Lyndon's aunt. It's so cool. So um, anyways. Hi, Josiah. Say hi. Eli, are you eating cheese in a bowl or what are you eating? Oh, cottage cheese, huh? <laughs> cottage cheese. Mm -hmm. It's time. <laughs> Okay, <clears throat> so really quick before I forget, the short hand, okay, on our clock is the first thing we say when we were reading our clock. You start and you say the first hand where it's pointing, okay? This long hand, I'm sorry, and then, so the colon, you don't say colon, but then it separates, the long hand is the minutes. So just like we said, we said nine first, and then the minutes. 37. It was 937. So we separated the minutes or the hour and the minutes with this thing called a colon. Just two dots like that. Okay? Mrs. Ackerman neglected to give you that information. So later on when we're doing math, you'll be able to see that again. Okay? First thing we're going to do is we're going to label. <clears throat> oh, I'm sorry. We're going to do our June poem. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Mrs. Ackerman is losing it. Okay, so it's June. Mm -hmm. Who can tell me if I write June, watch, watch, watch. If I just write it like that, what does it say? Does anybody know? Let's say the sounds that a U makes, ready? A, U, 
or up. Oh my gosh, how does it say? Ooh, up. Ooh, what is it? Have I lost it? A unit. Ooh, a u u a u u. So, what's the first sound that you makes? I know. Ah. First sound is uh. So we don't want it to say jun. Is this month jun or june? Is it jun or june this month? June. June. So what is the magic letter that we put at the end to make it say its second sound? Then? E. E. So now it went from jun to june. You see how we did that? Okay, so it says, in June, I saw a charming group of roses all begin to droop. I pepped them up with chicken soup. Sprinkle once, sprinkle twice, sprinkle chicken soup with rice. Okay, in June, you guys, in June, you say it. In June. I saw a charming group. I saw a charming group. Of roses all okay, begin to droop. I packed them up with chicken soup. I packed them with chicken soup. Sprinkle once. Once. Sprinkle once. Sprinkle once. Sprinkle once. Sprinkle Sprinkle chicken soup with rice. Chicken okay, we're gonna do um, we're gonna do some highlighting or underlining on it. So I want some of your um, you guys to share with me what you see. On the first phrase, it says, "I saw a charming group of roses all begin to droop." Who sees the first multi-letter phonogram? What is it? I do. What is it, Finn? C. 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 No. It's right up there. Oh, maybe it's this. Yes, Gracie? A W. Ah, that can end a word. Ah, like in jaw, claw, paw, right? That word is saw. I saw with my eyes. Okay. I saw a charming group. Charming. Lots in this one. This is the base word, charm-ing. Okay. So, who, what do you see in charming, everybody? Addison, go, babe. Tell me. Good. Good. What else? N-G. N-G, good job. There's one more. What is it, Emma? The letter R. 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 A R. Like in park, in arm. Charming, good. A charming group. Group. Right? Do we have ooh uh oh or um ow o u a ow o u group ow o u a group. And then finally, in this sentence, we have droop ooh uh oh. Now look, they both say the same sound, but there's different spellings. Group and droop both have oo in them. Ooh, uh oh. Ooh, uh oh. And uh oh, uh oh. Right? Okay. I pepped, ooh, I pepped them up. Like I cheered them up. What's in pepped? Yes, Addison? It already, it already happened. 
It already has an editor. Pepped, good job. Okay, I pepped them up with chicken soup. Look at soup too. Soup and group have the same ow, oh, ooh, ah. Do you guys see that? Soup and group. Okay, sprinkle once, sprinkle twice. Sprinkle chicken soup with rice. You guys see any other ones? No? Okay, we'll read it again tomorrow. Okay, we're gonna get out our water cycle diagram. We're gonna label it, okay? Okay, so here's our picture. And I'm gonna sing the song, you can do it with me. First thing is on the ground, all of the water, uh, springs, streams, oceans, puddles, rivers, those are all a collection of water, right? So we have groundwater, which is a collection. Then the sun calls to them, come and it turns into evaporation, right? It dries up into the sky. And then that water vapor goes into the clouds, which is condensation, right? When it gets colder up there high in the heavens and the water gets so heavy for those clouds to hold, what happens? Precipitation, right? Precipitation, good. And then it goes down again and does it all over again, okay? So first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna find where should our sun go? Where should our sun go? Where should we put number one? Hmm? I know. Where, in, buddy? In between the clouds. Yes, so right in that circle, I want you to try to, uh, you can write either one, you have an option. You can write one or you can write the word. So here we go, watch Mrs. Ackerman. In the sun, you can write number one or you can write sun, okay? <clears throat> or you can write the word sun in cursive. Okay, number one or sun. I wanted number one, number one, what I did, I coded in low. Oh, good. Okay, number two. Now remember, we're gonna start with the cloud and then we're gonna make a cycle. So now we're gonna go to the right. What is that called? Who knows what that's called? This right here. Yes, Addison? Cloud. A cloud. So number two. You can write number two over here or you can write the word cloud. Okay? Because we're gonna go in a circle, in a cycle, okay? Now, if you can see, <clears throat> that's when you can see the water vapor, but we're gonna, when you see these things right here, do you see that? We're pretending like we can't see that. That's the water vapor being evaporated. So right here, right here above the water, we're gonna write either three, Number three, or evaporation. Okay, because this right here is going up into the clouds.
Why are you crying? Okay, so you can put number three down here or you can write evaporation down here, okay? Now, this water coming down right here, what's the water that we can see that's either hail, sleet, rain? What is that called? Which, which is that? What word is that? Any kind of water that comes down from the clouds. Which word is it? Precipitation. Good job, Jude. It's number four. So right here, by number four, you can put four pointing to that, or you can write precipitation. Pre -si -tation. Okay, in the other cloud, we, I made him chubbier because he's going to be our cloud that's holding all of our water vapor. What is that called? When the cloud is holding all that water vapor, what is that called? Yep. What is it, Eli? Yes, go. Condensation. Good job. It is condensation. And I'm not even going to write it out of my cloud. And that is number five. You can put a number five or you can write the word condensation. And you can also put clouds again because it's a cloud. So precipitation can come from here too. And it goes in one cycle, right? Goes in a circle again and again. So in our picture, who can read the words, the kind of precipitation that ends up on the mountains? Who can read those two words? The kind of precipitation that collects on mountains is what? Who can raise their hand and tell me that? Yes, Eli? Snow and ice. Kiss your brain, smarty pants. Okay, when that snow and ice begins to melt and run off, it makes a stream that comes down to a what? What is this? The next word down here. The collection that comes down from the mountains and forms what? What does it begin to form when it starts running off from snow and ice? Yes, Eli? A river. River, good. And then finally, if it makes it, where does it get to? The largest body of waters are called what? Um, oceans. Oceans, good, good. Now groundwater, down here groundwater, is any kind of water that you see puddles, right? From all different kinds all on the streets and things like that. That's groundwater. And that all becomes, right, water vapor. Now, this is what... Now can I have that away? What's wrong? Somebody want to tell me something? You guys take your time. Finish this up if you want. 
Okay, now we're going to get our ice water. If you can get your ice water, we're going to label what happens in about three minutes. So you're going to get a glass of water with three or four ice cubes, okay? Water, and we're going to see what happens. Do we put ice inside the water? Yes. This Ackerman. Did you do it? Yep. Good. Okay, kid, just put it down. Huh. And hopefully your glass will start to sweat, right? Condensation will create be created. <coughs> so the air is already full of water vapor, but you just can't see it yet, okay? So when the warm air can touches the cold air, the cold and the water vapor, you'll start to see it. And when you see it, that's the condensation that you see. Okay? I start to see bubbles. Okay, well on the outside of the glasses where you'll see the sweat okay. or the water vapor, okay? Yeah. I can see the water vapor. There's bubbles floating up. Okay, so the condensation is, you guys, the condensation is the change from the water vapor in the air to when you can see the water droplets. I can see the water vapor. So here's another way you can see what's in clouds. Are you guys listening? Mm -hmm. If you take a shower or a bath and you close the door and you don't turn on the fan, when the steam gets on the uh, mirror, that is, that's condensation. That's what's happening inside of a cloud. Or if you see dew on grass in the morning, Mm -hmm. Okay, that is how clouds are formed, is all of the water vapor gets heavy with water, so much so that you can see it, right? And if it's on a blade of grass and too much gets on it, what, does it start to drip down, right? So if you leave your glass there for long enough, it could start sweating and then under the glass, there's water. Isn't that interesting? Right? That's why we have like, um, we put posters down. So when you set the glass down, that condensation doesn't end up on the ground or I mean on your table. So you should be able to see some sweat or some condensation coming around it in the next couple of minutes. So what you guys can do at home is you can say, you can make a diagram of water started, right? And then the ice, and then the warm air changed the cold, cold to condensation, and then droplets, right? The droplets are the precipitation, right? First it gets all around the cup, right? And then if you wait long enough, it'll start dripping down. And that's why we have a coaster underneath, because it's precipitating, right? Make sense?
do we draw? So it's going to take a while. When, when we're done with uh, our lesson, you'll see there might be a cold, uh, a wet spot underneath your glass, and that is when it turned to precipitation. It's condensation around it now when it sweats, and then when it comes down, it's precipitation, right? So just leave it be. You don't need to touch it. And then you can write all about it. We could maybe write about it tomorrow too. So it's water vapor before you see it, right? So on the glass, there is the same thing. But once the warm water hits it, then you start to see it. And that's the condensation. Okay. <clears throat> Are you guys writing about it right now or do you want to um, do it later? I'll do it later. Okay. And you can try different ways to do it. Like I said, take a hot shower, put, turn on the shower and close the doors and the mirror, that is condensation. And then when it starts dripping down the, uh, the uh, mirror, that's precipitation because there's too much water vapor now on the mirror and it's breaking loose like a cloud. Does that make sense? Um, yes, it does. Yes, it does. Okay, you guys ready for some math? We're just gonna do this one right here. We're just doing o'clock still. But we need to, I'm going to get my abacus out because I want to show you again. Remember when we talked about fractions, what a whole is, right? So the whole of this clock, the whole of the clock is 60 minutes. So when we get to the halfway mark, it is 30 minutes, half of 60. Okay, so I want to show you what the whole is. Eyes up here. 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60. That's what a clock is. It's not a hundred like a dollar. The whole is 60 minutes. So the half is 30 minutes. Do you see that? 30 and 30. So when you say, oh, my show's a half hour, it's 30 minutes, half of the hour, right? 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45, 50, 55, 60. Remember, because there's five minutes in between each of our numbers, okay? So what is half of an hour? How many minutes is it? Who can raise their hand and tell me? What's a half hour? How many minutes? Who can raise their hand and tell me? What is half of an hour? If an hour is 60, what's half of it? When we get to the halfway, what is it? Yes, Eli? 30. 30, good job. Because 30 and 30 make 60, which is a whole hour. Okay? All right. So when we look at our clock, can everybody, I want everybody to uh, count by your fives. Ready? 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45, 50, 55, 60. Who can raise their hand and tell me, when we have the long hand pointing to 60 or 12, what do we say? Because we don't say 60 or 12, what do we say? When the long hand is pointing to the 12, what, do we, what is that? I'll write it. What do we say? 
Fan? O'clock. O'clock. So, o'clock is when the long hand is pointing to the 12, right? It's, we've gone all the way around 60 minutes, and now it's at the top of the hour, o'clock, okay? So, in this picture, the short hand is pointing to the 1, and the long hand is pointing to the 12. So, what is it? If you guys notice my glass, there's water coming down now. It's dripping down like rain. So at first it was condensation, it was sweat, but there's so much now that it's dripping down like, uh, like precipitation. Okay, so who can tell me what time does my clock say? Shorthand first, second hand second. Oh, what time is it? Raise your hand, tell me what does it say? Addison? Rylan, what is it? Ooh, Rylan wasn't paying attention. Oh, right, right. <clears throat> what time's the clock say? <clears throat> Shorthand first, and then it's pointing to the 12, so we say this. What is it? Who knows? Eli, you're on fire today. What is it? Uh, oh, hey, hey, hey. Um, Sorry. Sorry. What is it? One o'clock. One o'clock. Good. One o'clock. It looks like this. One colon. So it's the first hour. Yeah. O'clock, okay? One o'clock. So let's get out <clears throat> this, and we're gonna make our hands. Now, <clears throat> you guys, we need to make a long hand and a short hand. You might want two colors, like just any two colors. It doesn't matter what it is, but you should have maybe two colors. Might help you. Okay. The first one, who can tell me what time that clock says? This, the digital clock down here. What does that say? Finn? 11 o'clock. It's 11 o'clock. So we're gonna, you know what we're gonna do? Since the hour is the first thing we say, we're gonna make the short hand first. So we need to make a short hand, watch Mrs. Ackerman, point to 11 o'clock. Watch Mrs. Ackerman. See how short I made it? Pointing to, oh, I pointed to the wrong one. <clears throat> hey! I'll do it up here. Okay, so I'm pointing to 11 o'clock is my first one. And it's the short hand. Okay. Now we need to write our long hand. Our long hand, if it's o'clock, is going to go pointing to what? Where's our long hand get a point to? Hello? Anybody? Yes, Finn. 12? Yep, so the long hand points to the 12. 11 o'clock. Okay, who can read to me what does this clock say? What do we need to make it, Addison? 
Um, seven o'clock. Good. So our shorthand's going to point to what? <coughs> seven o'clock. What does the shorthand? We say the hour first. So where are we going to point to first? Seven. What is first? Seven. <laughs> Seven. So the short hand is going to point to the seven. And the long hand, <clears throat> short hand goes to the seven. <clears throat> and where does the long hand go to, guys? <clears throat> Where's the long hand goes to? A clock. What is a clock? <clears throat> What does the long hand point to to say o'clock, zero, zero? No minutes. 12. Huh. 12. 12, good. Long hand points to the 12. <clears throat> what? It's your tater screen. Just like this. <clears throat> you know what? Oh, what the Okay. What's the next one say? Who can tell me what the next one says? What time is that? Two o'clock. Two o'clock. So where's the shorthand gonna point to, guys? Two. The shorthand, what are we gonna point to first? Two. <clears throat> two o'clock. <clears throat> shorthand goes to the two o'clock. <clears throat> Where does the long hand point to? What does the long hand point to? Raise your hand, guys. Who would like to answer the next one? If t if your the short hand's pointing to the two for two o'clock, where's the long hand pointing to? Where's the long and hand? Ten. Twelve to twelve o'clock. Good. And the long hand goes to twelve o'clock. I mean, not twelve o'clock. To o o'clock. So Eight. that is how two o'clock should look. Short hands pointing to the table. How about 10 o'clock? No way! Okay, next one. Who can tell me what time that says? <laughs> Isaac, what time does this say? <laughs> Ten o'clock. Where should the where should the shorthand be pointing to for ten o'clock? The shorthand is the first number, the hour. Ten. At the ten o'clock. Good. So on your clock, two for the any number. Short hand. Short hands at the ten. And where does the long hand point to to say o'clock, top of the hour? Then. 12. To the 12. 12, good. We don't say 12, we say o'clock when it's pointing there. So shorthand is pointing at the 10, and the long hand is pointing to the 12. It's 10 o'clock. 10 o'clock. <clears throat> now we're going to read the clock and write the time. <clears throat> Who thinks they can read this one? Remember, you say shorthand first, second hand second. Emma, go ahead. Six o'clock. Six o'clock. So it's six colon zero zero. Colon. Six o'clock, just like that. Okay, who could read the next one? Ooh, it looks tricky. What time is that? What time is that? Eli, what time is that? Um, 12. Uh, 12. 12. 12 o'clock. Why are you saying 12 o'clock? That's how you write it. 12 o'clock. You have to say 12 o'clock. Eli, should put the I 
Ackerman. Yes. My jar is starting to get a bunch of water. I set the light up in the air. So it's that's precipitation. When it's on the glass and it, you can see the water vapor, that's the condensation. When the warm water um, gets to it enough, then it starts to come down and drip. That's the precipitation, just like a cloud. Cool. Okay, next one, what time is that? Who can tell me? Raise your hand. Raise your hand. Who can tell me? What does that say? Lily, tell me, what time is that? Raise your hand. No, this one. Nine o'clock. Good girl. Nine colon zero zero. Nine o'clock. Nine o'clock. So when you uh when you touch it. Rylan, just so you know, your hand is warm, your body heat is warm, so that will make the precipitation even faster because you're warming the water, and so the air is going to <clears throat> have the water start dripping. Okay, finally, what time does that clock say? Shorthand first. Tell me, Lily Face, what is it? Three o'clock. Good girl, three o'clock. Three o'clock. <clears throat> okay, tomorrow we're gonna do half hour. We're gonna go to the half hour. So the long hand's gonna be pointing to what number? If we're gonna do half hours tomorrow, where is the long hand going to point to? Anybody? Where is the long hand going to point if we're doing to the half hour tomorrow? Half of the whole, where is it gonna point? Finn? 30? To the 30, which is what number on the clock? Six. Six, good job, kiss your brain. Okay, we can label this now, you guys ready? Okay. You might need to draw pictures. Mine doesn't look fabulous, but mine looks like that. I got some water and some ice. So the first says water. So we can point to the water. Right, that's water. And that came in and down. No, you have to write it water. Water. I'll write it nice and big over here. We had water. What are these things? What's that called? Which word up there? Ice. Good, so we're gonna put some ice right here.
Okay, now warm air. Warm air is vapor. You can't see it, right? Until the cold air and the warm air meet. So warm air is out here, right? Warm air. Two. Let's write warm air. So when the warm air and the cold air meet, right? That's when you can see the condensation. So we, how can we make sweat on the glass? Maybe just little dots. There's some warm air. Make some little dots on the, on the glass. So the little dots on the glass of beads of water is condensation. Condensation. Mm -hmm. And the word's right up here for you to look at. <laughs> the condensation. Now, find it. You yeah. guys, when it starts dripping down the glass, right, and forming this water under here, right, when those little droplets happen, oh, right, the droplets, where can I write droplets? I'll write it down here. Droplets. The droplets are precipitation because the glass has had too much condensation and then it starts to drip from the warm water and that becomes droplets or precipitation, right? Mm -hmm. oh. Kiddos, I sent you guys, also, I sent you guys some videos of mammals, okay, because we're going to start learning about animals tomorrow, mammals. So I did send you guys some uh, videos if you guys want to watch them, okay? Do so we have class tomorrow? Yeah. Yeah? Yeah, I have class. What is today? Isn't today Monday? We have it Monday through Thursday. Okay, Why wouldn't so this we have it the tomorrow? last day of school? No, I said I'd do it through June. Oh, oh through June? Know, I was going to do it all through June if you guys want to. That's awesome. I love that idea. Yeah, <laughs> I, I see yeah, it. I'm sorry. I thought that I had said that. Yeah, I'm going to do it till July. Okay. Okay? Cool. I want to it. Not the last day of school for you, kiddos. Okay, so learn about mammals, and we'll talk about different mammal animals, okay? Five more minutes. Kiss your brains. Have a great day. Bye. 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 Don't forget to do your Father's Day drawings. Okay. Bye. Bye.